most recently you've had a little bit of a feud with someone that we know as Kyle Richards. I just felt like she wasn't a real girl's girl. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I not give an opinion? Yeah. Welcome to the Logo Spill Bar. I'm your bartender and host, Johnny Sibley, and today I'm joined by true reality TV royalty, an OG from Bravo Shaws of Sunset, Reza Farahan. Hey, girl, hey! <laughs> I hope you're parched, darling, because it's time to spill. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Welcome, Reza. Thank mm. you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I'm so happy because I have not only Bravo reality TV royalty, just TV oh. royalty in general right Thank here in you. front of me. I'm really happy to speak to you about your long tenure on TV, but I want to get into my favorite show on TV right now, which Let's is do it. Traders. Yes. And spoiler alert, so if you haven't seen Traders. I go home first, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so pissed. Why? To be honest, I, you know, I'm a Bravo girl, so I mm -hmm. knew the Bravo people who were gonna be on, and I was like, okay, they're gonna go far because they deal with a lot of chicanery and, and backstabbing. You know, back yeah. The backstabbery. So I was like, they'll do great. Yeah. And so I want to know, mm -hmm. how did it feel when you were there going through the motions of doing the show? I was like, oh, I'm going home. <laughs> there oh, is, so you think they there were, were like... normal people there off the road, bro. <laughs> they asked us to go around in a circle yeah. and say something interesting about yourself. Yeah. And I was like, well, I wanted to be the king of Iran when I was little, <laughs> but the monarchy was abolished. Yeah. And I manifested a show called Shots of Sunset, and I was the star of it for nine seasons. Mm -hmm. And then people were like this in the circle, yeah. all of them. They were like, mm. They said, eat the rich. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> it was off with my head, and yeah. I went home quick. Yeah. But from a Persian, Jewish, mm -hmm. mathematical, coins in the bank perspective, yeah. There wasn't really any differentiation between going home over here uh -huh. or going home right before Suri. Yeah. So I'm thinking mm. if you got your abacus out yeah. and you're sliding things <laughs> around, I might have come like off as the winner yeah. if you look at it that way. Mm. Yeah, you know no, I like yeah, to put true. my own Persian spin on Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. That is some good spin right there. Right? But I will say, like, did you watch it back afterward? No. You didn't watch it back? I did not back. watch it back. No. Work. Okay. You know it was a job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know what these bitches were doing It when was, I was a there. job, and I was there with them. What do I need to yeah. see? It literally was the best. I should have been a sociologist because <laughs> I came in contact with all different walks of life. Yeah. People that in my normal day-to-day -day gay yeah. Beverly Hills life would never interact yeah. with. And here I am like living in a castle with these people yeah. and eating dinner after missions with these people and trying right. to make a good show. Yeah. And they all were like, mm, she was bossy. He thought he was like running shit. If you were picked as a traitor, do you think you would have won? There's no way any of the people that were known prior to arriving mm -hmm. could have made it far. I found out from Brandy Glanville, my boo from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and Girls Trip and all yeah. the things that she does, that Shelby mm -hmm. was telling us that she was a single divorced mom mm -hmm. and a teacher, but yeah. actually she works in PR. Yeah. And we don't know if she has a kid or not. <laughs> so. I couldn't come in fronting like, you know, I grew yeah, up in the deep, a... I grew up in Louisiana and I'm the Virgo, <laughs> right? And act like I'm you. Yeah. I couldn't do that. I had to come in and be me yeah. with all my medallions and like, yeah. you know, pony hair, Dolce & Gabbana trench coat. Okay. Did you think about that when you were going, like, maybe I should, like, downplay my wardrobe? No. no. Can we talk about the real tea? Yeah. The real tea was Shaw's had just been canceled. Yeah. I was told that it was taken out of rotation or we were on pause. On pause, yeah. And then TMZ is telling me we're canceled. I love that you're I'm on the phone with all these different people. I'm confused AF. Yeah. I'm in a, like, I'm walking around my neighborhood like a zombie, like if I'm not a Shaw, <laughs> who am I? People are walking by my house going, the, those gays live there. I'm like, <laughs> On the other side of the hedge thinking, what gaze? On the other side of the hedge. And then I hear the person go, 
the gays from that Bravo show. Uh, and then the one goes, what show? And he goes, the one that got canceled about the Persians. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so I went into the Trader's Castle, yeah. like, who am I? Am I a Shaw? They should have, they did have a shrink there. Yeah. Um, oh, I thought about that. And I spoke to the shrink, he was amazing. Yeah. And it was like, they weaned me off of Shaw's. Mm -hmm. I had Shaw's. They sent me to be on Traders, yeah. and then it was like, okay, now you you can acclimate. It yeah. was like my halfway house from Shaw's, <laughs> basically the Traders. I love that. Mm. And speaking of your tenure on Shaw's, nine years of sharing your life. Is there? <laughs> Was there ever a time where you were like, this is this is actually too much. I shouldn't be sharing this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there definitely are things, yeah. but what you realize is if you tell those things mm -hmm. to the producers, yeah. guess what they want to talk about? <laughs> exactly those things. Mm -hmm. Like if I start saying FOB gays that just came from Iran that mm -hmm. have thick accents and are talking about how great life is back home, yeah. but are trying to seek political asylum here, yeah. wearing Daisy Dukes and going out of West Hollywood, yeah. the contradictory uh -huh. nature of that boils my blood yeah. because Iran is, you know, the regime over there and how they treat people. Yeah. So what do they do? They bring someone on the show, who's exactly like that person to like, you yes. know, activate me and have me act a fool. And did. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a lot of growth. Yeah. A lot of growth. Yeah. What I didn't realize. Your looks realize, have changed too. You yeah. had a great mustache. Yeah. You're sporting a beard now. Yeah, people call me daddy <laughs> and zaddy. It's uh -huh. scary, but. How do you feel about that? Listen. You're like, depends on who it's coming from. 100%, <laughs> totally. I've been trying to hustle my husband for a hall pass. I'm like, honey, I'm gonna be 50 this year. Yeah. I want a hall pass. I'm getting a hall pass. Yeah. He's like, if I see a blonde twink within five, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yards of this house, yeah. I'm going to run him down. <laughs> that was one of the most uh, special things about watching the show and like seeing the relationship that you have with Adam. Was that special for you to, to share and not also have that like documentation to watch back? It is now. I yeah. didn't realize it was going to be special. Mm. He was in the closet. His family didn't know. Yeah. And he and I were dating off camera. Yeah. And so the show was like, we want to follow your dating life. So I was like, listen, mm. you got to be on the show. He's like, I can't be on the show. I was like, well, I'm dating other people then. Ooh. Cut two. He called his mom. He called his dad. Wow. He called his grandma. Your power. Dead relatives were getting smoke signals. He told everybody. He <laughs> said, you want to date me? You got to be on the show. You know, because like, yeah. thirsty little... <laughs> <laughs> Thirst traps come to the surface they when you're really, on TV. They really do. They yeah. Really do. Uh, <laughs> the DMs are lit. So you are no stranger to feuds. No. And most recently you had a little bit of a feud with someone that we know as Kyle Richards. <laughs> you were asked a question yes. on Watch What Happens Live, who do you think is the most overrated housewife? Yes. And you said, I'm gonna get shit for this. Yeah. And you know, you did, but in true gay fashion, you clap back. <laughs> you clap back and you know, you kind of ate her up a little bit. Are you guys okay now or? I was never not okay. Uh -huh. Can I not give an opinion? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was being honest. Yeah. That's who I actually believe is an <laughs> overrated housewife. So, sorry Kyle, you're beautiful. The Ozem Peak <laughs> is working, girl. She looks good. You just she <laughs> has made deals with people. You know she said she ha she's not on that. I don't care what she said. Star <laughs> Jones also said that she lost all the weight from Pilates <laughs> and she lost her job on The View. Uh -huh. We could say whatever we want to say, but she's 50 plus. Her and Erica Jane are clearly mm. either flying to Puerto Vallarta mm. and going to that pharmacy on the way to the good resorts in Punta Minta, <laughs> or their doctor here is prescribing them Ozan Peak. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know they're on it. It's interesting, because I was home for the holidays and I opened the fridge, and my stepdad is diabetic, and I saw a box there and I was like, 
street value, twelve hundred dollars. You're like, I could sell this shit. <laughs>、you、have the cameras around you for nine years. Yes, it's, it's giving very much this, obviously. Yeah, and then they go away. Is there any part of you that's like, oh, thank God? Yeah, a hundred percent. Totally. <laughs> Not worrying about people, quote unquote, coming for me. Yeah. People calling my old friends to dig up dirt that I did、so、that could, was low、yeah. down、uh-huh. from you know 1982 <laughs> that they could pull out on me while the cameras are rolling. Yeah. Yes. Do you read the comments? Do you read the、sometimes. things people have said about you over、yeah. over the years? Yeah. Sometimes. Are there any crazy things that you're like, what? Where did they get that? At a certain point. I can promise you that on my fingers and toes,、mm-hmm. I can count the number of people whose opinions <laughs> matter to me to the point where it would cut to the bone. Yeah. So if you are someone who's following me and you hit me up, I always feel like you're trying to get my attention、yeah. in a negative way,、yeah. and I really. I'm a Leo. I respond to you telling me how great I am, <laughs> stroking me、uh-huh. and like telling me I'm the shit. Yeah. I I don't know what sign <laughs> you have to be for people to like respond to the gutter stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah. You can't be in the gutter if you're not a gutter bitch. Yeah. I don't get <laughs> I don't get gutter, and I'm like,、yeah. oh, how sad. Like you're unhinged and unstable. Like what is going on in、yeah. your world? That you're watching me or seeing a post of mine yeah, that's activating you, you to the point.、Yeah. I never,、yeah. never, ever, 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 <laughs> never, ever <laughs> look at a post or watch a show and then hit the person up、yeah. to tell them how low down I think they are.、Mm. Even if I do, sometimes <laughs> I have better shit to do in my life. Yeah, when I, you know, it's funny you made me think of something. But for me, you know, being Latino, like. If another Latino person says something negative about me online, it does—I wouldn't say bother me, but it does make me a little more like, really, you're one from of my、me. own. Totally. Does that make, do you feel when that? When Persian gays talk shit about me,、mm-hmm. I'm like, you ask. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out here on these streets, streets. fighting the cause for us, <laughs> and you have some crazy sideways shit to say to、yeah. me when you get your own show. Like Persians will come up to me like Shaz is supposed to be a National Geographic <laughs> show about the plight of the Iranian Americans. Yeah, yeah. She's like, my son is doctor. None of you no doctor, no lawyer, nothing. Take them, show them all of our accomplishments. What is this show? And I'm like, bitch, how long have you been here? She's like, we came before the revolution. I've been here 50 years. I'm like, bitch! You've been here 50 years. You couldn't make a show about the plight and show your doctor ass kid and do all the shit. Like, get to work, bitch! Your doctor ass kid. Yeah, and you know it's funny. I always think about like I'm probably gonna run into you. Like our communities are not that big. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So, if you're watching, bitch, keep keep the comments to yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs>、uh, no And it's okay and can be acceptable for you too. Like I have people I came up with that aren't here anymore. They、yeah. took their own lives. So that was always the one thing that I could always think to myself, Johnny. No matter what I do, how gross I get, expose myself for having an armpit fetish or whatever it was that came out on Shots of Sunset.、Yeah. If someone hits me up, which so many people did,、yeah. to say thank you. It's all worth it. Yeah. Sometimes I think it's good to pause and remember, like, that you're changing history when you just by being yourself. Well, if I can just interject some, I'm a little older than you kind of <laughs> wisdom into it. Absolutely. But also just in life, you know, people are like, "Are you upset? Are you this? How could I be upset?、Mm-hmm. I had nine seasons. 
there aren't people on any kind of shows. Yeah. A lot of people that can look back and say we had nine seasons, yeah. whether it's a yeah. scripted show or not. Yeah. So that is something I'm so proud of. Yeah. And to have been able to be authentic and share my story with my husband and my family mm. and all that. Yeah. So grateful for it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm.